Hello YouTube, um, today I'm going to do a video about the best task manager for Androiders. Okay, um, t um, for my phone I think task manager is one of the most important apps I have in it. Since it's a Galaxy S and it's quite old, it tends to get very slow. So the task manager makes it clear up the memory, makes it run much more faster, which is essential for this phone. So I, what I think the best task manager for Android currently is, I think, it's the Go Task Manager. So I'll just open up Go Task Manager right there, and you could see the interface. So the reason I say that this is the best task manager is the ease of use, the great widgets, and it's well, I guess it has much more features which other task managers don't have. So for example, okay, um, let's go through the features now, have an overview of them. Okay, so at the top, you have, when you first open the app, like so, at the top, you have um, a meter. It tells you how much memory you're currently using and how much you have. So it says memory used is 73% in the current phone. Available memory is 96 megabytes. And the running processes are 15. So with one click of this button, kill all the apps. Okay, and he have a list of applications running. Okay, so that's the general process. My swipe pad. Um, these are the permanent processes. This is the system processes. Okay, and you have two buttons at the top. One is to refresh the list, and the one is for the widgets and the themes. So I just have one theme installed, which is the default theme, and of course you could install um, themes for your widgets, different themes for your widgets. Okay, now let's go to the next part of the interface, which is the checks. Okay. This is where I told you about how this has much more features which other task managers don't have. For example, okay, um, so when I click start, what it does that it scans my memory, it scans my cache, um, it makes a thorough scan of all my phone and tells me where I need to make changes and where could I improve my performance of my phone? So here it says that my memory is running 15 tasks, which I don't need. It says that I have a cache left, 1.8 megs, and all these stuff, okay? So oh, in memory, I could obviously kill the apps. Cache, in cache, what it lets me do is that clear the cache for every application. So it opens up this, and I had to click the button. Clear cache and clears my cache. There you go. I cache is simply um, some storage the application use. It's mostly what you don't need and extra space, temporary memory. So you just clear that off easily. Okay. Next we have apps to SD. So which this what it does that it transfers your app to your SD card. Yeah, it's simple. Boot apps. You need root to use this part of the application, so this could disable booting app, so it makes your phone boost faster and overall performance improves the overall performance. APK scans it tells you which a, um, application hogs your phone's memory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could delete them. Okay, high risk apps. These are the applications use. Most memory, um, uh, most memory, and your internet usage, and stuff like that. You have Netstat. For that, you need the Pro account. Um, so you had to pay for it. Under Tools, so you have um, a much more cleaner interface and smaller icons, and it tells you what you need to see very clearly. So here we talked about cache scan, systems trash, see what that is. Okay, this it says that 
things that we don't need so we could clearly um easily delete them from our phone to make it run much more faster we have apk scan we um talked about that and we have auto clear which done does everything for us automatically so you could um set regular ca clear cache and all that stuff which brilliant features yeah boot apps we talked about that app takes SD, we talked about that, high risk apps, yes. And next stat, um, okay, it's a pro feature, but it allows you, it counts all your internet usage and tallies it so you can easily access it. And it does have a widget, which is um, very great as well. So if you click new, I mean, uh, more, uh, more settings, I guess, you have, first thing you have there is settings. When you click that, it um so the first thing in settings is show in notification so if you have any application set up or um for example if there's a new version of the application it tells you in notification um da -da -da. okay turn that off and turn that off on and yeah and what you get when you turn it on is um when you look at the top, it says seventy four percent. That's your memory usage. Okay, and another thing that you get is sorry about that. And you get a memory bar in when you scroll down from the top. So that's very useful as well. You have whitelist that are the apps you don't want to kill. When you press the kill button, um, so you can add apps to the whitelist, select apps. Um, so, for example, this should be your home screen launcher or um, an antivirus or something like that. Okay, then we have low memory warning. So, when your memory, you're running out of memory, it warns you, but yeah, you're running out of memory. So you could kill tasks. And you have advanced hero and all these stuff that um, you need the pro version for. Okay, now we'll click quickly look at the widget for it. Okay, so here's the widget, and I absolutely love the widget. Seriously, this is one of the best useful widgets I ever use in my day to day life. Okay, the great things about it is that not only you could kill them like that. But you could also open them by holding on to them. Why doesn't work? I thought you could do that. Hmm. In the old version, you could. So I think they disabled that. Wow. Hmm, I just updated it. That used to be a very handy feature for me. I mean, it was very useful. It worked like an. Um, application manager or something when you usually hold this then it could um, open up the application and I really miss it honestly honestly miss it uh. oh wow you can't do that anymore that's a pity I, I used to love it because in Android 2.3 which I have this on my phone I can't use multitasking and this used to be, it helps me a lot with my multitasking needs and with the current update you can't do that sadly. But hey, it's still a wonderful, wonderful um, task manager. You have many, many, many features and things that help you, your phone running smoothly and brilliantly. Um, in your day-to-day -day routines. So thanks for watching this video. So comment, rate and subscribe. So see you later in another video.